A common occurrence when trying to export your project to Media Encoder from After Effects is that Media Encoder doesn't receive your files. Now there's many different reasons as to why this happens, but you may find that none of these fixes actually work. So what's the alternative? Well you can use the built-in render queue in After Effects. To do this, make sure you have your comp selected that you want to export. Go up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Now if you were to leave the default settings, you will export it to an AVI file. And these files, depending on how long your project is, can get really, really large. So it's best to change the output. And to do that, click on the word lossless here to bring up your output options. And from the Format drop-down, select QuickTime. Now go to your Format Options button, click that, and make sure that Apple ProRes 422 is selected. Click OK, and then OK again. Now also click on your file and navigate to where you want the file to be exported. Click the Save button, and then when you're ready, click the Render Queue. Now the file sizes are a lot smaller here, although they're still not as small as what you would get with Adobe Media Encoder. It seems to be around about 1 gig per minute of footage. So once your render is complete, you can use a free software package called Handbrake to compress your file even further. I'll leave a link to Handbrake below this video. All you need to do is grab your file, drag it on, go to video. You can adjust this quality setting if you like. I tend to just leave it at about 24. Make sure that it's been exported to where you want it to be saved and click Start and Code. You may or may not see a massive file size difference here. It all depends on your footage. So as you can see, this first footage was 174 megabytes, and now my MP4 is 200 kilobytes.